Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we knocked down our classmate onto the ground and saw her panties. And then we are going towards the swim club right now to check it out. Hmm. Here I am, standing before the entrance to the swimming pool. It took me way longer to find than I expected. Really? Hmm. I mean, the teacher's directions were clear, right? Straight, right, backwards, down, something like that. The swimming club is supposedly meeting right now. Woo! After all the discouragement I've received, I feel like I need to know what the deal with this club is. Yeah, hmm. Oh, looks pretty nice. Looks like a regular, you know, swimming pool. The distinct smell of chlorine hits me as I pass through the doors. Ooh, chlorine! When was the last time I smelled that? Never? I don't think I've been to a proper swimming pool in a very long time. They're saying they didn't have chlorine. So, I'm fairly impressed to say the least. This building is massive. Well, yeah, this, I mean, if they have a swimming pool, it's, it has to be massive. A full length Olympic swimming pool spreads out before me. How do you know it's a full length Olympic swimming pool? As I look around though, I notice there's no one else here. Wait, I thought they were having a meeting right now. The only sound which echoes through the building is the gradual lapping of the water against the pool's edges. Funny, from what I gathered, the swimming club was supposed to be meeting today. So, where are they? Hello? Is anyone here? Only silence in response. Hmm, I'm very confused now. Where are they? I do not think there's a single soul here. Maybe practice isn't on today? Why wouldn't it be on on the first day of school? But it said that practice was on today. I don't know. If there's no one in the swimming club, then obviously I can't join it. Oh yeah, because no one's, you know, there's no club if no one's here. Hello? My own voice echoes back to me several times. Wow, that means this place has some really good acoustics. It really is barren in here. Perhaps I should hang around for a bit. They might be getting changed or something. I don't know. Maybe. I decide to wait there for a few minutes. There's little else for me to do other than watch the water lap against the pool's edge. That seems really boring. Didn't I used to love swimming? Oh, <gasps> maybe that's your thing. Maybe that's your gift. I don't really remember. More importantly, why is there no one here? Even on a hot day like this, surely someone would be using the pool. I would. Oh, well. Hmm. Let's see. Got choices here. Ask around about it? Or why is it abandoned? I mean, if there's no one here to ask around about it, then... I'd probably go with, why is it abandoned? I wonder why it's abandoned right now. Maybe that's what infamous about this club? Hmm. Perhaps the members never meet up, so it's a club that doesn't exist? Then that means there is no club, technically. Hmm. I can only pointlessly speculate. Just as I'm about to leave, I hear a loud splash come from behind me. Whoa. Hi. Hi there. Two girls emerge from the water. Wait. One of them is that black-haired girl from before. Uh. Well, what's going on? And the other one sitting next to me in class. So they both sit next to me? Huh. They're wearing swimsuits, but those swimsuits are practically shredded. The straps are torn too. 
Meaning that it can't stay up on its own. Both of them are desperately trying to hold their swimsuits together. Wait. This is the school swimsuits? Then why? What? What's going on? They, they can't afford more, like, new ones? Not that it's helping, it's revealing plenty despite their efforts. Their cheeks are flushed as red as roses as they look down at themselves. These are the two tears that my teacher told me about? This is so embarrassing. How do you think I feel about it? Who cares about how you feel about it? I care about how I feel about it. You need to be more careful. You need to be more careful. But it's your fault. No, it isn't. Both of them argue with each other angrily, failing to notice me standing there. As they do so, they seem to care less and less about holding their swimsuits together. More and more pale skin is revealed as every moment pass. Oh my. I am not sure what exactly I should do at the moment. Uh, our swimsuits. Oh well, at least there's no one else around, right? Well, you should probably uh take a look around. As she says that, she looks around the room. Imagine how embarrassing if it would be if someone was... Her pale blue eyes shift towards where I'm standing. Oh no, I think I've been found. No, not in a big open wide room. What? What is wrong? When the black haired girl doesn't respond, she looks towards where I'm standing as well. She grows silent too as she notices my presence. Yeah, uh... Both of them start to furiously blush as the situation dawns on them. A few awkward moments pass before they say anything. S stop looking at us like that, you pervert! They try even harder to cover themselves. Not really helping though. No, not really. If anything, their panic is causing their swimsuits to fall apart even quicker. Yeah. Barely coming off. I mean, it's barely staying on. It's now a desperate battle between them and their clothing. Whew, what a battle. And they're losing. Really badly. Are they hugging each other right now to cover their, uh, their, their nipple? It seems nothing they can do can stop it. Get out of here right now. Perfect's like you are the worst. I, I, I came to ask about the swimming club. They both stare at me indignantly. The white-haired girl's indignant look quickly turns into panic, though. Oh no, it's falling apart. I, I can't stop it. Help me. I think I see something completely divide in half before she can finish speaking. Her face grows redder than the hot coals of a furnace. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably cover my eyes or something. For a moment, she focuses her attention away from me to deal with this new problem. Ha! Huh, at least mine isn't getting any worse. I'm just... Another set of tearing material. Her face goes bright red too. Not me too. She looks down in despair at her swimsuit. This is just too embarrassing. I can't stand it anymore. Despite their own problems, they still look back at me. What? Why? I'm surprised that they're still able to hold their swimsuits together at all. Stop standing there and looking at us. Out! No! You heard her, get out! It would be better to listen to them, I think. I slowly back out of the building, their eyes fixed on me the entire time. All I wanted to do was to join the swim club. Oh. Sometime later, the pair returned from the changing rooms. I decide to wait outside for them. Their faces are still red. You're still here? Her face turns grim as she looks closer at me. She must have not recognized me while she was flustered before. Hmm. Oh no, not you again. Hey, hey. I didn't do anything wrong. I was trying to tell you last time. Not him again? 
This is the guy who... She can't bring herself to finish saying it. Aw, look, look at her face. She's flustered. Yet before she was shouting it out shamelessly. Hmm. I'm going to apologize. I'm sorry about that. I really didn't mean to. I get nothing but a pout in response. Aw, oh, but I apologize. Guys always say they're sorry, but don't really mean it. I, I do mean it. What kind of guys do you talk to? This happening twice just proves that. Yes, it's unfortunate that you walked in when that happened. I don't think we need to tell you that you shouldn't mention what happened here. Yep, that's what, that's what the black haired girl told me. The white haired girl seems rather cool about the whole situation now that it's over. If you say anything about this, or what happened in the hallway, the black haired one on the other hand looks really mad. She's got that one finger up. Ooh, she's super mad. Her gaze is practically burning a hole right through me. Don't worry about it. I won't tell anyone. I promise. Thank you. You're that transfer student, aren't you? Kata, right? Yeah, and you two are... Uh, how can you be so calm at a time like this, Hiromi? Hiromi? So that's her name. He said he wouldn't tell anyone. I'm sure he would keep his word, Maiko. Maiko? Maiko? My... Maiko? Miko? Miko. How can you be sure about that? Really, I won't tell anyone. It would be nasty to do something like that. Don't think I'd trust you yet. Hiromi ignores her friend's outburst. So, what are you doing here? I was checking out the clubs and heard about this infamous swimming club. It's my first day after all. Oh, then I think you found the right club. What do you mean by that? Do we really want someone like him to join this swimming club? Hiromi looks around her at the vast empty building around her. There's not anyone else around. Wait. The, the swimming club only consists of you two? Oh, right. L listen, since you've caused me so much trouble, you should join the swimming club. Wait, what? Wouldn't that be the opposite? Well, this is a strange turn of events. First she was mad at me, now she's asking me to join her club. We really need new members. If we don't, they're going to close our club. Hmm. Both of them gaze at me. The weight of the stare is heavy. I do not think that I can say no. Before I do, could I ask something? Okay. Both of them seem to freeze up, anticipating something. I heard from someone that you aren't welcoming of new members. So why are you inviting me so readily? Please ignore those rumors. A deep, disappointed frown forms on her face. If we weren't, why would we invite you in the first place? Of course you'd believe that. You shouldn't just accept what everyone says as fact. Yeah. I mean, those are just rumors. No wonder they have an infamous reputation. But still, can't just leave them like this. That's all I wanted to know. Don't worry about it. I'll join. Not that I'm doing this out of guilt or obligation, though. All of the other clubs. Let's just say that something feels exciting about this one. Well, let's see. Uh, bathing suits coming and tearing off. Yeah, that, I guess that's what uh, got you excited there, Kata. The fact that something has finally caught my interest is nothing short of significant. Both of them look really happy when I say that. Finally, we have a new member. They're overjoyed at the moment. Can't really join in as I don't know the full significance of it. Even though it had to be this guy. She's not going to let that go, I'm guessing. Yeah, she's never going to let that go. I'm just warning you. I haven't been swimming in years. Don't worry about that. We'll both train you. 
You well? With your broken swimsuit? He seems fairly confident about that. But Miko doesn't seem like it. We we will? I'm not a very good teacher. Miko nervously shifts on the spot. Uh, are you really sure we should teach him? Come on, Miko. I know you're a good swimmer. Just show him how to do it. Oh, do do it. Do, do, which one? I'm not as good as you, you though. I quickly glance at my watch and realize that it's getting late. Sorry to cut you off, but I really need to get home. Oh, okay. Well, we will see you tomorrow, right? She looks at me with hopeful eyes. Oh, not angry ones? Of course you will. But seriously, I need to get home now. I'm sure we will see you. I'm sure too. He doesn't sound very confident about that. Really, I promise that I will. I'm sitting between you, after all. Right, we'll be mad at you if you don't come. Aw oh, man, no. Don't be mad at me. So, so, please come after school. Tomorrow. Tomorrow after school. Got it. Alright, it's agreed on. Until next time. That was a lot different to what I was expecting. I mean, yeah, I was kind of expecting like a whole group of people. This is why you need to have a look at things for yourself. Other people can easily mislead you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sakura Swim Club and their broken swimsuits. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.